So I'm going to start off by tying back my hair with a hair tie just so that it doesn't get in the way while I'm doing this makeup. So I'm starting with a clean face with no makeup or oils or anything on it just so that the tattoos adhere correctly to my face. I'm going to be using some of these FX transfers which are like 3D tattoos which you can put on your face. I think these would be perfect for Halloween things because they are so simple to use and there's such a wide variety of designs like you can have boils on your face, you can turn yourself into a zombie, there are some really cool 3D cut ones which have like staples in them and things. You can even create a kind of joker smile which I think is really cool but I think today I'm going to turn myself into some kind of zombie with this zipped eye and the kind of exposed teeth so I'm going to give these two a go. So once you remove it it will look something like this and then you want to carefully remove it from the piece of paper so just peel the plastic off with the transfers on it and then once you've peeled it off you want to stick it face down onto the piece of paper. So once you've done that you just want to press around the transfers to make sure there's not any air bubbles or anything. Once you've gotten all the air bubbles out, you just then want to carefully cut around your designs. So now that I've cut these out, I'm just going to position them on my face to kind of roughly mark out where I want them. So I'm just going to hold it up to the light and mark out on the back where the actual design is so that I have a rough idea of where it's going to go on my face. So then once you're ready to put it on your face, you just want to peel away the plastic Make sure you have your damp sponge at the ready and then you want to apply it to where you want it to be. And then you want to get your damp sponge and fully saturate this for about 30 seconds. And if you have any loose edges just kind of press them down with your wet fingers. So I'm then just going to do the exact same with the other side of the zipper. So I'm just peeling away the plastic and then I'm going to put it on my face. So the final stage is applying the zip so I'm going to do the exact same with this one as well. So I'm now going to apply this one on my other side of my mouth. So I'm going to be using this bruise kit to create the illusion of kind of depth within this and in my mouth. So this just comes with five different colours and I'm just taking the red one. And I'm literally just filling in all of the spaces between the two zips. I'm also going to add some of this red in between these teeth. So to deepen this up a bit, I'm adding some of this dark blue here. I'm then going to take some of this Fantasy FX grey face paint and I'm just going to sponge this on the kind of side of my face that doesn't have this just to make me look a bit more kind of dead and zombie-like. And I'm bringing some of this down my neck as well. I'm also going to take some of the brown colour from this and the blue and just kind of sponge this in random areas of my face just again to give me a bit more kind of dimension. I'm going to take some of the dark blue and I'm just going to put this under my eyes and I'm just mixing this with a bit of red. So I'm now just taking my hair down and I'm going to ruffle it up a bit. And then the final stage of this makeup is adding the fake blood. So I'm just going to put this in all of the areas that I think need it. So once you've added your fake blood and kind of messed up your hair a bit, that is this zombie look complete. 